Hello, good afternoon, everyone. This is Rhea Singh, Senior Research Analyst for Nirman Bank. So on the currency front, uh, we are seeing that dollar index has continued its stronger hold and is trading even in today's sessions above the level of 109. This is indicating the kind of uh, sentiment right now that is surfacing into the market, which is uh, taking uh, shelter under the safe havens. So 109.60 is indicating the same. And I think until 21, dollar index will uh, continue with its stronghold. After the Fed rate hike is done, then we can see some cool off happening into the dollar index. So uh, right now, this will uh, transfer, uh, this will, tra you know, this kind of momentum will also get translated into the other pairs, uh, which is why we are seeing that though Euro is, uh, uh, ECB had done 75 bips rate hike, uh, it is still trading under the uh, parity level. Uh, it is trying to move fast, but uh, the resistance is quite strong on the Euro USD as well. So I, I think until then it will trade with the, the same uh, strength of uh, zero. It will hurt. It revolve around the parity only one zero point nine nine into that terms. Uh, talking about the uh, domestic pairs. Um, well, uh, GBP INR has she, uh, seen uh, a volatile momentum in today's session uh, because their inflation had come on the softer side. This is particularly because uh, the government there has put a cap on the petrol prices and this is why the headline inflation had cooled off. However, talking about the core inflation and food inflation, it has remained elevated. Thus, uh, on the uh, longer term perspective, uh, inflation will remain sticky. So, a uh, Strong bullish leg cannot be expected into euro US uh, into pound USD or in GBP INR. However, momentarily gains could be seen. Uh, but again, until twenty one of the, uh, that, which is the FOMC meet, until then you'll see it uh, having a volatile sessions. So for the USD INR, uh, it has been uh, today's session has been particularly on the uh, depreciating side or on the. Uh, uh, trading with a green leg and uh, we have seen it testing the levels of uh, 7981. Uh, 7982 is a very strong resistance into the USD INR and when it breaches that then it can go towards testing the levels of 80 uh, 80.05. So the strategy that you can maintain here is going long above the level of 7982 for a target of 80.05 keeping a stop loss at uh, 7970. Uh, for other strategies that you can follow is uh, going long into the JPY INR. Uh, for uh, if you look at the current statements that have been coming from the Japan Bank of uh, Japan as well as the finance minister there, both have uh, uh, pressed upon the issue of uh, volatile de uh, depreciation on the Japanese uh, Japanese yen side, and they are into discussion as to whether they'll be going forward with some kind of intervention. And this will play out uh, bullish on the USD JPY side. So you can see uh, JPY IMR uh, going towards 56, uh, 56, 25 levels. So look for a breakout of 55.85 for a target of 56, 56, 18. You can maintain a stop loss at uh, 55.50 levels. Uh, so these are the two strategies that you can follow that is going long into the USD INR and JPY INR. Uh, Euro INR and GBP INR will uh, be in a volatile sessions. Uh, the trading range that they can maintain is 79.88 to 79.28 uh, on the Euro INR. And for pound INR, they will maintain a range of uh, 92.10 to uh, 91.68. So uh, these are the two ranges that it will, uh, you'll see the vol volatile session happening. So that's all on the currency front. If you have any questions, you can ask now. Okay, uh, so I don't think so there are any questions. Thank you all for joining me. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for in-depth interviews of India Inc. And press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates.